You're watching Jack's Blade's month of Halloween. Let's get some sh** out of some psychopaths. Groovy. Welcome to another spooktacular month, and to keep y'all safe and powered up to lay out any weirdos in your way, we gotta boost y'all's fluidity with a certain creepy crawly technique. In the last season of Baki, where we saw our boy master true fluidity and obtain a move known as the Cockroach Dash. Heck, earlier on in Baki, we saw the karate master Katsumi Orochi master move where he made countless joints to allow him to strike so fast, his arm looked like most weebs after seeing these three series for the first time. <laughs> But through visualization and persistence, they were able to reach a new level. And with everything in Baki, there is at least some DNA of realism. And today, let's help you on that journey. Be water, my friend. Yo, dudes and dudettes, your friendly neighborhood Jack's Slate is back. And the first thing I want you to do is first release all tension in your body. Also, excuse the stash, I got an Omni Man costume coming for Halloween. A lot of people don't even realize how tense they are just from sitting down for a majority of the day until they do something like a simple stretching routine or a simple yoga routine, and then they're like, what's going on? Which, if you want to try after this, I have both a Baki flexibility mobility routine and a Luffy stretching routine, and both have helped, you know, thousands of people over the years. But Baki's visualization was that of relaxing so much that even his cellular structure was able to just go completely relaxed. And while we can't go that far yet with our muscles, we can at least do this. Right now, close your eyes and flex every muscle in your body as hard as you can for 10 seconds. Now, warning, do not strain or pull something, so flex as hard as comfortable, I should say. If you do that and flex everything, and once you release, you'll notice like a looseness that just wasn't there before. Matter of fact, flex every part of your body from the bottom to the top gradually, besides one area of course, because that'd be for OnlyFans, but see how you react to that. As a matter of fact, let's do that together. Okay, so don't give yourself a cramp, but starting out, flex your toes for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Flex your calves. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now flex your thighs. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now this one's gonna burn, but flex those hips. All right. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, now flex that booty. All right, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now blow out all your air and flex your core. Flex that abs, all right? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One. All right, now squeeze your hands like you're trying to grab something, you're squeezing it, all right? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, now flex your chest, like push it together like you're trying to squeeze something in between it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, now flex that back. Yeah, come on, Ujiro, let me see you do it. All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. All right, now flex those arms. Flex your arms like you're trying to get someone to like stare at them. Like, wow, you got some gains. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, now look up to the sky and then howl at the moon. Flex your neck and just howl at the moon. All right? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, and then just shake it off, you know, shake it like taste way, wiggle around. You should feel naturally a bit looser, but for some reason I feel like one of you might have cramped up and I know who you are, so go get some water and electrolytes and magnesium and I told you to be hydrated. But yeah, just see how you're moving now. You should be a lot more fluid just naturally from this. So if anyone tried to step to you, like bam, you got him. Next, just like Baki, you want to train your flexibility and mobility. This does so much good for you because mobility training promotes good posture, helps prevent injuries, relieves tension, associated with you know sedentary lifestyles and overtraining, improves functional fitness, increases the range of movement, helping you to stay active and healthy longer in life so you can age like a saiyan viltrumite hybrid, and reduces joint pain and deterioration. While yoga, as I talked about before, helps increase your flexibility and can improve your muscle strength when you get to more advanced movements, improve your overall energy, 
boosts your metabolism, helps your circulatory health to get great blood flow everywhere, can also improve athletic performance, and protect you from injuries. That's the main reason I ever got into yoga in the first place. Also, pro tip, you meet lovely ladies in yoga class, my dudes, so if someone like, you know, a Cozeway in your life is trying to chase you down and make you them, you know, your partner, some shit like that, start working on your flexibility so you can max out this book, you know? Also, another imperative thing to do to get the fluidity down is to do drills constantly. So, like, if you're someone who does not know how to punch or kick or something like that, it's imperative for you to, like, actually learn how to properly do that. So, watch yourself in the mirror or watch yourself, you know, how you kick, how you move. And then, of course, like, watch a video that instructs you how to do it properly. But I truly do believe if you really want to get, like, super adept, it is just best to go where there is an actual coach, someone who can actually teach you how to do the forms properly instead of just going like oh I'm just gonna sort of wing it on my own because like that never works out for the best for a lot of people though you can thankfully in this day and age with YouTube you can like watch a bunch of like videos and the cool thing is with watching these type of videos is you can see like oh they're different fighting styles so I want to become more adept at this I just have to practice but the key thing is starting off slow because so many people just rapidly start doing things and then they never get it down if you master a move and then you slowly pick up the speed and then you get the hang of it that is going to be so much more lethal so much more fluid, so much more powerful than someone who's just starting off like, like that, all right? It's gonna be such a game changer. Though this is a warning. This is a big, big warning. Just because you are doing these like movements, practicing them by yourself, do not get in your head thinking that you're like some Ujiro level like badass or something like that. That is not the case because you are not sparring. And sparring is so vastly important for anyone who's interested in combat sports because you learn timing, you learn distance, you learn how not to curl up into a ball like when someone throws a punch your way. You also learn how to take a punch, how to deflect a punch, how to avoid a punch, and all these different things, and di avoid different strikes and stuff like that. So many people will just see a thing, copy it, and be like, oh, I'm the you know big shit on the block, and then immediately get deboed. <laughs> it's just like, bro, what did you think was going to happen? It's not like the movie. Also, if you're going out trying to punch and kick people, Bruce Lee even said this. In, in nowadays, I mean, you don't go around on the street kicking people or punching people, because if you do, yeah. That's it. I, mean, I don't care how good you are, you know. I know it's hard in this social media age where everything is instantly rewarded, but do not rush it. So many become impatient and neglect fundamentals, but these will help you to ascend so much further if you stick with them, all right? And then once you get them down, the fluidity will come and then you'll be a brolic fluid beast. Next, after getting the form down, or very imperative, afterwards, you can start doing this. Utilizing things that make you go from heavier to lighter are great ways at improving fluidity as well. So things like resistance bands and pool training are actually very peak for this. These things restrict you enough to give you some oomph when you strike with full force explosively, but not so excessively that you're going to be straining your tendons and have issues later on in life. And you wanna learn more about that, check out my short on weighted clothing. And then the way Baki utilizes the cockroach tackle is from going with very loose to hard with his muscles. Because even though Baki's physique is one of that even Greek gods would dream to have, his body is not just aesthetics, but athletic, fast, and extremely powerful. To give you a visual, think of it like this. Imagine a brolic buff individual with no fighting experience. This is Halloween, we'll put him in a good old Michael Myers mask. And think of them as a bulldozer and their arms are big lumbering clubs. If they are able to hit you properly or catch you, they can do some serious damage. But now imagine a muscular fighter, but for their arms, they are like metal maces on chains and their legs are like springs. Bouncy, fast, lethal. Getting hit by a club is devastating, but if you have a degree of combat skill and an open area, you'd be able to dodge effectively and get out the way because of the lumbering way a club moves. Same with a bulldozer. That thing could F you up, but it has to hit you first. While being hit by a ball on a chain is just dangerous because it's a hard object on a loose chain that is sporadic. But because of how it's made, the added velocity can do serious damage multiple times all over. While with the springy feet, they can bounce bounce around with agility and cut off angles and explosive burst when needed, it's like the difference between being hit by Prime Ronnie Coleman and Prime Mike Tyson. So, working plyometrics for power and explosive acceleration can also make your fluidity more potent. And also, most importantly, it's not just physical relaxation, but mental relaxation as well. Breathing techniques as simple as following along with this GIF can help you with that. But 
but also I'm a colossal believer in meditation because as I've mentioned many times before there are many scientific benefits of it and it's pretty much like weight training for the mind because it helps you slow down and actually visualize like you're in one of those choose your own adventure games where you can pick which path you want to take and when you do this you can actually choose yourself how you react to a certain situation as a matter of fact some pro fighters actually utilize this so like when they get like clocked in the face they can actually like stay calm like okay I just got wrecked I gotta like you know recenter myself really quickly because some people if you get clocked in the face then you just start losing it and then you just see red and stuff like that that's going to end up being like more harm to you than you think but again as I always say it is a consistency thing so if you aim to get 1% better every single day a hundred days from now you will be surprised at how much you have grown as a person and how much stronger you have become just like Baki, and that's one of my favorite things about him as a character as stated by Itagaki the author. He gets stronger every single day because he has fallen in love with bettering himself, so each time we see him, he's stronger than his past self. It's an amazing mindset to have, and you watching, I know you can do that. Your friendly neighborhood Jack's Blade has nothing but faith in you watching right now, and I know you can stick with it, and then you could be the badass who like makes a monster regret even trying to check you, you know what I mean? Alright, so be like, yeah, alright, sorry Michael, your ass is going down. But Jason, don't mess with that boy. But if you made it this far in the video, type in Waterhama in the comment section down below. Be sure to hit the like button and hit that bell icon and subscribe. I got a ton of great videos here and I got a ton of past videos that I'm sure you'd like. And again, tell me, what did you think of the last season of Baki? And also, if you have a favorite horror villain or horror movie monster, let me know as well. I love doing that this time of year because I always love having fun with this. I got a ton of videos I'm still working on, just grinding on a bunch of things. But again, as always, thank you all for your added support. You keep me motivated to just keep going after it. And I'm always excited to like do these. But remember, like I always say, keep calm. Booyah on. Love doing that this time of year. And don't forget, moment I. Hope you have a great one. Now go kick some monster ass, protect the people you care about, because you got this. I believe in you.